In that moment, I sank to my knees, pressed my face into the pool of blood before me and allowed my heart to break. I grieved for a child I had not known and had barely begun to carry, but had already come to love. I keened for a home that had once felt safe and supportive. Mine. I wept for a partner who had not been what I had hoped and ached for the innocence he had taken from me. And amongst it all, my body still trembled with the shock of that first loss, the severing from all I had once been. As I wept, I fell further and further forward until the remnants of my own creation covered my face and my hands in a vivid depiction of the death I had longed for. It was there, face down in a pose of reverence to the child I had lost, that I felt the change. The wings that had been my liberation, my miracle were no more. My back was light now, tender and empty from a lack of their glory. But as I looked over my body, trying to find my balance again in a form that had shifted so significantly, I realised they had not deserted me entirely, that their raven sheen now wrapped itself around me, covering every inch of me in a thick, dark cloak, edged blood red. I pulled the feathers tight around me, grateful for their warmth and for the softness of them against my skin. And for the first time since my becoming, I felt truly held. I am alive. The words were a whisper, spoken to the one I still felt in the emptiness. I am alive and I am free. And I swear to you with all that I have, I will find a world of which you can be part. If I must create it myself, one step at a time, I will find a home for us, for you, where we can be safe.